morning guys. Today started off kind of with a shock actually. We we woke up, there was an emergency. Rebecca's mom was knocking on our door saying that there's an emergency, that Amanda is having hard contractions and is going into labor and they're taking her to the hospital. They took her to the ER and the ER said go to the hospital. So they're going to the hospital right now. I'm still at home with all the sick kids and Rebecca's very sick and all the kids are still feverish and sick. For the most part, they've been running around and playing as kids do despite their sickness. I'm trying to help out where I can so I'm running to pick up Shin away from school so that Rebecca's mom and dad are actually going to the hospital to go be with Amanda as she's potentially having early labor. It's pretty early right now, too early, because she's not due until middle of July. She's several months early at this point. So hopefully they can get things settled down and she won't have the baby today. But it sounds like she's in a lot of pain, so there might be something else wrong. Anyway, just want to let you guys know what's going on. I'm not sure if how many more updates we're going to be getting throughout the day or if we're going to be able to get any video or not of Amanda, but I'll keep you guys posted. Anyway, that's what's going on with us today. Crazy day. One thing that was really awesome when, when we all were getting the news about what was going on with Amanda, everyone was really nervous for her. The first thing that James said was, we need to all pray. So we all knelt down in the front room and said a prayer for Amanda, and I just thought it was awesome that James feels so strongly about prayer. For him, as he's been growing up, if he's ever scared at night, I always tell him to say a prayer first. I think it's good that that's the first thing he goes to because I believe very strongly in the power of prayer. When we're sick and all you guys are saying that you're praying for us, I really appreciate that and I know that it helps. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I'm proud of James. It's good to make sure that when there's an emergency and even when there's not an emergency, you need to always make sure that you're praying and asking Heavenly Father for help because he can help us when we need him. And it's important to also pray in times where things are good to give thanks for what we have. With my head in the clouds and my feet on the back We go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map When this world's got me feeling small I'll be sure to tell my story whenever our adventure comes News? No. About Amanda? She. She's in labor. What? Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm picking you up. No. Your mom and dad are going up to the hospital oh, to help her with the baby in case she's. She's just in a lot of pain and having a lot of really hard contractions. That's not good. So they ran up to the hospital to go help her. That's why I'm picking you up from school. Oh my goodness. That is not good. So we'll get updates as they come, but that's the news right now. She you know is still practicing driving. Yep. She's doing good too. You're gonna be getting your license next month, right? Yeah, uh, that's weird. <laughs> There's a fight out here. I don't know what they're fighting over. Okay, so until we get more news from what's going on with Amanda, today here at the house it's just business as usual. Ryan just did a really cool thing and the kids are gonna come and see it and I wanna get their reactions because I think it's cool. Just, can you do two? husband ever. I've lost my voice. Michael's been so sweet to me. He's been massaging my back, rubbing my head because I've been super congested and he just made me lunch. I'm just gonna whisper. It's easier to whisper. He just made me lunch. These are barbecue, pineapple, hamburgers. I'm so excited to eat. My appetite has been slightly gone so I've been on and off just feeling so sick and so terrible. Today I got a lot of rest. My throat is still hurting so bad. Hopefully I'll be better by tomorrow. I won't be. Doesn't this look like a burger from like the menu? It just looks so perfect, huh? 
Yes. <laughs> it's a Krabby Patty. <laughs> it's a Krabby Patty. It's a Western Krabby Patty. Uh, it's a Hawaiian Western oh, Krabby Patty because it's got a pineapple and barbecue sauce. Yeah. I like a Patty a Patty. He patty. Said, I like a Patty a Patty. Charlie oh, likes amazing. Krabby Patties. It's amazing how the house falls okay, apart okay. when okay. some of us are sick. When I can't stand up for too long. Here we go. It's dirty. All right guys, it's time for an update. So I just got done cutting up some roast for each of the kids. So they're eating some dinner. Mine is kitty. Yours is in the microwave. It's warming up right now. Mom and me are sick. Yep, everybody's still sick. Ellie took like a three or four hour nap and so did Charlie. I sick. Yeah, you're still sick. And you're totally Mommy, asleep yeah. the That's right, mom is sick. So we've been watching Star Wars. We watched episode four, and now we're just getting ready to start watching episode five right now. And the kids have never seen it, so it's kind of fun to see their reactions to the story of Star Wars. Up to this point, I haven't heard any update from your mom yet. I did. You did? When? I called her with no voice. You called her? When? And I tried to talk to her. I called her about an hour. Okay. So, so, um, okay. So Amanda, so far the baby's fine. The baby's fine. The baby's fine. Good. But they did all of these tests and stress tests or something to figure out what's going on. Okay. They haven't gotten any of the results back yet. That was. The, so we don't know anything. That was the last that I heard. So. But the baby's fine. We know that. So far, the baby's doing. Okay, all right. Well, hopefully that remains the same. No, so she's not in labor then? She's not having more contractions? She's having very strong pain in her belly. But not contractions? But it's her, she's not dilating or anything. Okay. She's not dilating or anything. Yeah, that's so good. Dead. Okay, well, I'll, all I'm gonna go get Charlie his food. He's very adamant that it's all done and it's ready. I wish I could talk as fast as I think right now. <laughs> So daddy, daddy, daddy. I have to put so much effort into just pushing sound out of my voice. <laughs> that like, daddy. it makes me have to talk really slow. Yeah. I feel like slow motion. <laughs> I have been in slow motion these past couple of days. Yeah. Okay, so James and I just got done watching episode five of Star Wars, and there was a pretty big reveal there. What'd you think of that? Yeah. He guessed was. it, huh? Yes, Dad said I really wanted to watch Harry Potter, and she wanted I to watch Star Wars, and he happy. said, I guess who's, what's his name again? Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. And I, I guess his father, I guessed first, Darth Vader, and, and it was right. I think it was a wild guess, just because I don't think he even knew who any of the other characters were. So I kind of regret telling him to guess, because it kind of blew the surprise. But it was still a surprise though, huh? Yeah. Was it cool? <laughs> okay, and in other news, we got a package in the mail, and I'm pretty sure this is for you, James. For me? Yes, but mom bought this for you. I did. So she might want to be here for you to see this. Just, just, uh, here, let me go out. Okay, mom said she doesn't really need to be here. James, what do you think it is? I was hearing her say something about a video game that packing. The what? It, it helps me solve this problem. A video a game? So I think I know what it is. So you, that might be what it is. You think it's a video game? Okay. Ooh, it's heavy. Or a book. Harry Potter book? Here, pull the tab. Yeah, he is opening it. Pull it out. It's a puzzle. What is it? Woodworking basics. And what does that one say? <coughs> Woodworking for kids. What's that one? Easy carpentry projects for children. Ellie's 
Do you know what these books are? What? These books have instructions on how to make cool different projects for kids. What do you think of that? Cool. And a lot of the a lot of these carpentry and woodworking. So it's teaching you how to work with wood and how to make cool things out of wood. Does that sound like fun? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so you'll have to look through the book and find some projects that look like fun and then maybe we'll have to make time to make them. Does that sound good? Which one do you think is the funnest? I don't know, I've never looked at any of them. I'll try this one. Okay, you start looking through it and let me know what looks interesting. What is it? Oh, what does it say? Building, right there, it says building a... Side uh -huh. table. Building a side table. You wanna learn how to build a side table? And then if you turn the page, it'll probably tell you step by step. It'll show you how big the dimensions need to be, and then it'll show you what tools you're gonna need, and it shows you how to build it. It's a pretty technical one. This one looks like it's a little bit more for kids. It's a little bit more geared towards younger kids. But I think this is gonna be really good for you, learning I've how to make stuff. I have been working on cardboard stuff my whole life. And now it's my ultimate chance to work with wood. I actually have a couple of other wood things I've built, but that's it. I think after making the Pinewood Derby and after making that really cool automaton that we did, yeah, I think this is gonna be a fun chance for you to learn even but more. But we don't have any of these kind of stuff. Well, maybe Ryan does. Ryan might, or Grandpa. When we were kids just hanging at the playground When all we 